Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, a lot of people request this a more coding challenges that involve games and user inputs because I was doing Sudoku uh, solvers and other versions and people did like them but people prefer when I make games so I'm gonna try to make a you know new game. So today as you saw in the title of this video we're gonna be doing uh, the game called 2048. So what that is is basically well, it's basically a game, <laughs> and this game has a grid which is eight four by four. It could be eight by eight, but now we're gonna do it four by four. And this is a little example I found, uh, which basically we have numbers from two to four at the start, and we have four moves up, down, left or right. And every time we do a move, a new number comes up, either two or four, which is kind of like probability, two or four, uh, to a new position. And every time we move it, okay, we have. If we press left but right in this case then what we're going to do is all the numbers are going to be pushed to one side and if two numbers are the exact same then they're going to a uh, you know basically collide and become a new number i'm not sure to keep the video short so i'm going to keep like 10 minute videos so i have my timer now so now we have a timer so this is proper setup i don't know if i said it but i have new setup in my room so that's a well it's in my room in spain so i know you might be thinking it's different and have a bit of lighting so um, let's get on with it okay so um, we're doing this in p5.js so the start of it um what we could do is we could create um let's just do a canvas okay so we go create canvas for 100 by 400 and then what i'm wanting to say draw 51 okay you know i like that number so and actually one of the users told me one of our subscribers told me that is 51 it's a good number because it's a fifth of 2255 um which i didn't know so you know thank you i don't remember your name but i have you there somewhere <laughs> okay so let's just try to refresh and did we save i think we did oh no it's not draw it's a background Oof. A good start isn't it okay we have our little game a little canvas so what we want is basically do a cell we've done a few of them in sudoku solver and the knights tour so we haven't watched the video this is quite easy all we have to do is a function we're gonna call a cell and we're gonna pass a few parameters so we're gonna pass an x value we're gonna pass a y value we're gonna pass a y value and we're gonna pass a number value and then we have to say this dot x is equal to x this dot y is equal to y, this dot i is equal to i, and then this dot num is equal to num. Okay, so now we have these values. So now we have to do this dot show, and it's going to be a function. This is just to show the, you know, to show the little cell. So we're going to do cell by cell. So we're going to do rectangle, but we're going to do no fill because we don't want to have a fill. Jesus, I don't know what I want to write. Also, we want to have a stroke of 255 to be white, you know, the borders. And then we're going to do a rectangle, which takes the this dot x, this dot y, a um, hundred, and a hundred. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to create a new variable, which is going to store, um, it's going to store, it's going to be an array of objects of type cell. So now we need a for loop which to say for var i is equal to zero. i has to be less than 16 because we're gonna do four by four. I know this is hard coding, but again, you know, we need to make it easy and fast. So i is less than 16, i plus plus. And then what do we need to do? We need to say cell i, okay, is going to have a new cell. Okay, parameters we need. I don't know cell go. That's cool. Okay, so parameters we need. We need an x value, y value, i value, and number. So for now, we're gonna say x, y, i, and zero at the moment. Okay. So what do we need? We need to create here a variable called x, which is gonna have zero. A variable called y, which is gonna store zero, and also. Ooh, that's it okay and i know i spelled it wrong so var y is equal to zero so we want is we want to say okay let's just print it for a second okay let's just write it on the in the draw function um i suppose you know 
about P5JS, I have a series of like getting started with P5JS, and I obviously assume assume that you're good with programming. We're not good, but you kind of understand, okay? Uh, so var i is equal to zero. I has to be less than sixteen. I plus plus. And then what we have to say is li dot show, just to show us. So what happens now? We said that x and y position, which represent this dot here, are zero. So all the little squares are printed in the same location. So it seems like we only have one, but we actually have 16 in the exact same location. So what we want to do is we want to change the x position, okay? So one way to do it would be to increment the x value in the for loop by 100. And I suppose you know what's going to happen. All of them are going to print th that direction, okay? The camera is flipped, okay? So what I'm seeing is completely different than what you're seeing, okay? The camera is flipped. So they're all printing in that direction. So we want to also shift down. So what we could say is if x is equal to 400, which is the limit of the tiny, then do x is equal to zero to restart the x position to the you know to there and then also say y incremented by 100 so that should do and yes it does okay so we have a grid uh let me take what time we have seven minutes for you it'll be six okay because i started talking a bit later so let's just say six let's just try to keep it 10 minute videos so we have a grid and that's something so how about we try to put numbers into it? Well, you've seen this before if you watched my other videos. We do text size, um, and we're gonna do 32 pixels. Then we do fill 255, because we want to go, you know, white numbers. And then also we want to say text. Okay, so we want X position, this, no, we want um, to print this dot number. Second parameter is the x position, and the third one is the y position. So we're going to do this dot x, this dot y. I know that's not going to work, but I just want to print it. Okay, so all of them are shift up. So the this dot y could be plus 70, maybe 70 pixels. Yeah, that seems all right. Problem is, I'm not going to try to centerize a little bit. I know it looks horrible, and I know the numbers could be bigger. But when we get to the point with these two digits, they're gonna all go off screen. So let's just try to make them, you know, keep them short. Keep them, you know, short numbers. A and small. Um, and let's just add 10 or 20 into that, okay? Into the exposition. Okay. Uh, yeah, it looks okay. Okay, we can, you can live with this. Okay, I'm not gonna go <laughs> mad and mental. So, now we have this. Now we need to call function which is gonna check what keys were present. And I think I've done this in some other game, and if I haven't, then I kind of, you know, I've been doing a lot of games with P5JS, and a lot of them I don't make a video of. And also, if you're still watching this video, if you want me to do this in C, or Java, or like a low-level language, well, Java is not a low-level language, but, you know, you want to do it in another language, just to see how it works, then give me a thumbs up, or just leave me a comment in the description. No, no. No description in the comment uh, section, okay? So, function, and we're gonna call it keyboard, okay? We can call it whatever we want. What are we gonna take? We want to say if, I think it's key, I'm, I'm not sure what this is, down, yeah, key is down. And then we do left arrow, well, well let's just say up arrow, up arrow. Then we're gonna do something. Else if, and let's just do that for every, oh, no. Okay. So up arrow, down arrow, left arrow, down arrow. No, it's not left, it's, yeah, it's right. Okay, for you it's left. Well, no, no, well, it wouldn't. Like in this camera it would, but no, it wouldn't. Right arrow. So I'm trying to do like clockwise. It'll be up, right, down, left, okay? Uh, and then down left. So we could do, we could call it one, two, three, four, okay? So we could create a variable here, call it bar move, and we're, it's gonna start like what move we want, we're doing. And then we could say if up arrow move is equal to one. 
If not, move is equal to 2. If it's down, move is equal to 3. And if it's left, move is equal to 4. And what we could do is, this function we want to, if it's down, if it's up arrow, then return. So if we know that it's one of them, we just want to return and get out of the function. And you're going to understand this why in a second. So now, if it's up arrow, it's going to say move is equal to 1, and then it's going to close the function. So now, if none of those are the move, then we could just say move is equal to 0, okay? And also, one thing I, I should do is, just to see how the game works, the game is actually running at 60 frames per second. And I don't like this. And I don't like it because it's too fast. There's better ways to do this, but it's a little game on the end. So what we're going to do is reduce the frame rate to 5 frames per second, or 5, five animations per second, so we can control everything is going on. So now what we could do is we could just say keyboard, call the function keyboard, and then we can have a console.log move. Ooh, how am I going to inspect the element? Yeah, let's just say go to the log and let's see what we can do. Okay, I can't see anything, and I think that's because um, I didn't refresh, did I? Okay, so we have CR, CR, CR. If I press the right arrow, oh no, oh yeah, two, and when I stop pressing it, we have it goes back to zero. If I press up, it's one. If I press down, it's three. If I press to the left, it's four. Okay, so that's working. We can close that because I don't really want this. So, I'm gonna omit that. Okay, so I think that's gonna be the end of the video. Oh, Jesus, 11 minutes, 12 minutes. Okay, so that's gonna be the end of the video. And I'll see you in the next video, which is gonna be the boring bit. Um, but we have, uh, you know, we have a little bit done. So thank you for watching and you know, you know what I mean. Okay, so thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.